mailbag 48 ish uh, some electronic equipment and fluff some more fluff and parts and another bag of fluff and parts so what I'm gonna do is start with the big one also the most expensive one and I'll also put the times uh, where everything goes so that if you want to bypass some you can so let's get these two out of the way to start with. And go after the box from Amazon. And check to make sure camera's on. Yes. So. Paper. We have a camera that gets hit. We have the big box. And we have the little thing. So, what I'm going to do is I'll start with the little thing. And I think we all know what these are. They're plastic uh, or they're uh, hot glue uh, sticks. And what I'm going to be doing, if I can get it open, okay, here we go, actually I'm going to zoom down now, ah, that's better. Uh, I went to my local store for these and they had none. So uh, these cost... Uh, $11.99. What this is for is a project. Uh, let me just find it. What I'm going to be doing is taking a Christmas ornament, using this as a mold. Uh, then uh, from the mold, I'll fill it with uh, probably hot glue. And I'll be inserting LEDs so that I can have these for outside. And I'll put them beside, and I'll put a picture or video of the thing that I've got currently growing in the front. And what I'll then do is uh, hook them up to, uh, well, basically they'll be uh, solar garden lights. But of course, during the daytime, I just don't want something this clear. I'm going to put some coloring on it. So that's the plan for that one. And now this. It is ah oh, instruction manual. It's certified. Oops, Get the camera there. Apparently, it passed quality control. This cost forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a politician's main uh, tool. It's a hot air gun. So, I might delete that one word I just used, just in case YouTube's not happy with it. Uh, it is, by the description, FITA 858D Hot Air Surface Mount Device Rework Station Digital Soldering Heat and then that word uh, tool kit with desoldering iron holder, three nozzles, one spare heating element, which is actually why I bought this one instead of one of the other ones, and uh, one ESD curved uh, tweezers. So, there's that end of it. Get those out of the way. And the reason I bought it, the one that has the spare heating element is that, let's face it, a lot of the tools now, if they're at a time apart breaks on them, uh, you may not be able to find replacements. Or if you can find the replacement, you're kind of wondering if it's the right part. Uh, so this probably attaches somewhere to the side. 
Uh, this uses a 110 volts, uh, 500 watts. Oh, there's the parts. There's the hot air. And the three nozzles. So I'm just going to take a minute and uh, assemble it all. Okay, looks straightforward. This piece goes here, line it up. I'd also recommend if you're this one assembling, don't have it plugged in, just in case somebody fouled up and uh, put something close to these screws. It's almost there. Yes. Me working and talking at the same time generally doesn't work. There we go. Oh, that's so much easier. Okay. I'll plug this part in. Oh, actually, I'll that out. Oh, notch goes that way. So far it looks pretty simple. And then we hook it up to the power grid, which currently is working. If you saw my other one where I had picked up uh, UPS, it was because we kept losing power here, and we're not in a remote area either. Okay. Looks cute. Uh, what else is there to say about it? Don't know. Turn it on. Okay. Ah, it's warming up. Oh, I see. This is the air control. Quit flickering lights. And here's the temperature. And now I'll take a quick look at this thing. It says from 100 up to 350 uh, centigrade. Well, that's as much of the instructions need to read. So maybe I do need to read more. Let's get it up to about uh, 300. Move this over a bit. And pause. Well, I think I've got a lemon here. Uh, it's not heating, but you tap it, and all of a sudden it starts to work. And I've now read through the instructions, and uh, I can't see uh, anything that I'm doing wrong. Let's see if this turns off. Oh. Now it's working. I think I'll be uh, taking this apart and taking a look inside. But, the main purpose I got it for, let me go right 
So, heat shrink. Hopefully it'll keep running for a little bit. It is for doing heat shrink. Let's adjust this up. Now what's interesting is, okay, you see it's doing it, but it's having a hard time holding the temperature. So let's take it all the way up to the maximum, which is 350. Look at that. Okay, this. Uh, I think this is a lemon. Okay, I've got it set on the lowest, and it's not uh, not working too well. This is probably going to be an Amazon return. And on to bag number one. One bright side of that not working is it gives me something to fix. <laughs> uh, though I'd prefer not to have to do on that on something I've bought. Okay, we have two items. I'm going to start with the one on top here. There are 20 there we go. 20 uh, 10 watt uh, 5 ohm uh, ceramic resistors and I'll put who I got it from in the price over there. Uh, I think it was $15 ish uh, which is expensive but I need these uh, immediately. I had some uh, ordered on AliExpress, but with our postal disruption, which apparently is now over, uh, they aren't here yet. So what I'm going to be doing is taking these and sticking them in my Hummingbird feeder heater, which I did a previous video on, and I keep toasting the resistors. I'll take a picture of them and put out what the previous one looked like. And these will also be going into my um, water shutoff uh, valve uh, heater which uh, I just did recently and what I'll probably do is when I get these two done up I'll uh, make just a short uh, video and put it but I've got lots of these now and now we have a choking warning choking hazard ages uh, 8 and plus uh, I'm not sure if I qualify. It is. The description is it's a. Snid, you figure out how to pronounce that one. Uh, yes, camera's running. Um, here we go. Oh, they even have instructions. Kind of. It has six little DC motors, some wheels, some uh, battery holders. The motors are three volts, which is why you can get away with uh, just two little batteries. Let's empty this all out. Comes with wires. I assume these are for for whoops yes holding it wheels so basically oh and uh, oh really little switches propellers and gears I thought it also said some... Oh, I guess that's... There's a, the shaft. 
and another shaft. So obviously it's just a little thing to play with. Uh, what I was thinking of doing is they say this motor is um, 3 volts, 15,000 RPM, which would make this thing incredibly fast. But with these, uh, I've just got a few ideas I want to play with. It's just for tinkering. And for a total price of $23.99, I think this actually is a pretty good deal. So on to the next. And the next one has no lies on the package. I ordered this uh, five months ago. One package. Two packages. Woohoo! Three packages. I always like when one goes to multiples. Okay, let's start with this one. Get this back a bit. Oh. Alright, there's cables in this one. So I better be careful. There we go. it. Uh, these should be just straight uh, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter um, stereo cables. And they should be about a meter long each. I'll put in the corner there who I bought them from, though that was quite a while ago. And this is just because I'm going to be trying to do some audio stuff. And I believe those were... Yeah, straight through $5.30 a piece. No, for two of them. For this one, it's along the same idea. It cost three dollars and eighty four cents, but apparently, and I'll include the picture in the corner there and who I got it from. Okay, it doesn't look like you can open them without destroying them, but their advertisement picture shows that it has a built in noise reduction. I'll be trying that out since I'm fairly noisy. And the next item is, along with sound routine again, I've just been buying different uh, versions of stuff to try out. Okay, it's a TDA7297, who I got it from was up there, and the wiring is uh, up here. So you basically have this coming in, then uh, you got for uh, speaker out, speaker out, and power in, I believe it is. Yeah, um, I think it's... Uh, five to or nine to fifteen volts in and then of course your two speakers so that's what it looks like i'll be trying it out see how it goes uh this is a uh, really for that uh thir if i can pronounce it right thermomen project i've been trying to work on uh which i've been having dismal results so that's it. Some toys, some parts for outside, for, for some mushrooms, and then, of course, uh, to be repaired first. Uh, I hope I can get that working. Otherwise, I'll just uh, check for, if I don't destroy any uh, security labels on it, I'll just send it back. But I'll try to fix it first. Well... Have a good day. It's almost Christmas time. And this was one of my shopping list items. Have a good one.